Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on Watchbox platforms. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today we are discussing a 2019 50-piece limited edition in stainless steel. This is the H. Moser & C. Endeavor Perpetual Moon Concept Aventurine with Aventurine glass dial on the fluid Endeavor case platform. 42 millimeters, the watch is reasonably slim at 13.4 millimeters thick, and then it is 48.4 millimeters lug to lug with the spacing between the lugs of 20 millimeters. Now the timepiece, of course, on a strap, which you will note is factory, a uh, remarkable navy blue gloss, large rectangular scale alligator leather, a contrasting blue stitch. You can see it uses sheer sided construction with an almost electric blue accent, and then a simple no nonsense polished and satin finished pin buckle, uh, jumping back real quick and throwing it on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. You can see though it's a 42, it doesn't wear large. The spacing across the wrist of 48.4 millimeters is actually quite reasonable for a 42. You can see in this overhead shot, even tightening a bit to simulating the cinched and sized fit. There's plenty of clearance on each side. You can see the same when it's down the barrel, the cuff shot proving it will fit underneath most sleeves. And if you look at the case back, you can see that it is actually cambered and arced, so it sort of hugs your wrist. There is a definite curvature to the case back. Uh, jumping over to the case flank, it's surprisingly complex. The best of the Endeavor cases look like molten metal drawn out and flash frozen with mirror polished scalloped hollows and vertical satin finishing. The lug hoods are all of polish and so is the bezel, but note the bezel is not just concave to pare down the apparent visual mass, but it swells at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock while thinning out at the mid case. The crown is conical and sharply knurled for easy grip, and you'll note there's a little kerf underneath the crown, so you can more easily dig in your nail to pull the crown. The dial is the centerpiece of the watch. It is completely unadorned. It is the concept dial. Moser has several different dials, the most minimal of which is the concept, and that's what this is. This is a venturine glass, which is blue glass that's melted and then finished even with mineral deposits mixed in to create the image of aventurine. Aventurine is both a mineral and synthetic aventurine glass creating the same image that you see right here. This is a venturing glass with leaf style hands, a moon phase accurate to every 1,027 and a third years. And if you look carefully, there's actually a little bit that you could miss on this dial as it's more nuanced than it appears at first glance. You can see that both the minute hand and the second hand have been manually rolled on a mini roller to arc them underneath the curvature of the sapphire. You'll also note that there's a little stub hand at center, and that is a 24-hour AM-PM indicator. So you know whether it is day or night, and this can be useful when you are setting the moon phase, which is adjusted using a pusher corrector at 9 o'clock. You'll also note that the watch features hacking or stop seconds and lovely polished leaf or foy style hands. Turning it over, it's just as appealing on the case back. Moser Caliber HMC801, twin mainspring barrels set in screw fixed chiton, seven day rated manual wine power reserve. In fact, it will run for almost nine days. There's a small case back power reserve indicator. It's braced against shock with a full balance bridge and a free sprung index. And then it uses a handmade overcoil hairspring to ensure that in any position, the hairspring beats concentrically and the watch maintains isochronous operation regardless of gravitational pull on the hairspring structure. Moser makes the balance, the hairspring, even the low friction 14 karat gold escapement in its own precision engineering subsidiary. So they are a true manufacturer out of Schaffhausen, making not just 1,500 watches a year, but also the small parts in those watches. It beats away at a stately 18,000 vibrations per hour, and you can see it makes for a pocket light pocket watch-like aesthetic to the tick and progress of the seconds hand on the dial. All of this is 30 meters water resistant and handsomely executed. As you can see, it features double crested Cote de Genève. There is a bevel on the edge of the bridge, albeit mostly mechanically applied. The screw heads are handsomely black polished. And then there's a lovely swan's neck click spring. Satin finishing on the wheels from the crown wheel to the train wheels. And the timepiece features a platform escapement that lifts out in one piece, the escapement and the balance structure, to be replaced by a pre-serviced unit when it goes back for service. So they've clearly thought out how to speed the process of after-sales service, which is super important when picking a watch brand. 
This is the 50-piece stainless steel H. Moser & C. Endeavor Perpetual Moon Concept Aventurine.